We're going on set with the stars of Between in today's Entertainment City. But first, another Hiddle Swift sighting and Drake drops his fan meet and greets. Here's why. You used to call me on my cell phone. It's officially summer 16, but as fans get ready for Drake's tour of the same name, they're in for some disappointment. Reports say the rapper has just pulled the plug on all of his VIP packages. They sold for up to $1,000 with some packages, including photo ops with Six God. Apparently, Drake acts the experience over, quote, scheduling issues. The move is very reminiscent of another Canadian, Justin Bieber, who you'll recall did the same thing on his Purpose World Tour a couple months ago. Maybe there's something in the water. Or perhaps security reasons played a part in the decision. The news follows the tragic murder of singer Christina Grimming, who was shot by a deranged fan as she signed autographs earlier this month. Drizzy's Summer 16 tour with Future kicks off July 20th in Austin, Texas. Are you ready for the second official Hiddle Swift sighting? Taylor Swift and Tom Hiddleston, whose budding romance was sensationally revealed through paparazzi photos, were spotted in Nashville last night at Selena Gomez's concert. <laughs> Swift's pal and eagle-eyed fans Snapchatted the whole thing. It comes less than a week after their relationship reveal sent fans into a frenzy. Not least of all because Swift had just called it quits with boyfriend Calvin Harris. Selma Blair is sorry. The actress has issued an apology after her shocking outburst on an airplane. As we told you yesterday, Blair was taken by stretcher off of a plane after a mid-flight meltdown in which she made some strange and alarming accusations against an unnamed man. In a statement to Vanity Fair, the 43-year-old actress says, quote, I made a big mistake. I mixed alcohol with medication, and that caused me to black out and led me to say and do things that I deeply regret. I take this very seriously, and I apologize. I am a flawed human being who makes mistakes and am filled with shame over this incident. The BFG got the red carpet treatment in L.A. last night. Steven Spielberg's adaptation of the classic Roald Dahl book marks the famed director's first kid-targeted film in years. It's a return he's glad to make. It's really nice to be able to just let my imagination roam free without being fettered by the, all the precepts of history and all the truth you need to tell when you do a historical subject. So all of us felt free and happy to be returning to our childhoods to tell this story. So hold your breath, cross your fingers, here we go. The BFG hits theaters next Friday. We're looking for two people who may have escaped Pretty Lake. The return to Pretty Lake is finally almost upon us. City's survivalist apocalyptic thriller Between is back as of next Thursday. The stakes are a lot higher. Season 2 picks up four weeks from where Season 1 left off. While Season 1 dealt with the viral outbreak that killed everyone over the age of 22, leaving young survivors under quarantine, Season 2 continues in the aftermath after a possible conspiracy comes into play. There's this new character introduced this season by the name of Liam Cullen, and he is a flicker of hope for Pretty Lake because he comes in bearing vials that he claims to be cures for the disease. My character, we're not quite sure what his intentions are if he's returned to Pretty Lake to genuinely do good, or is he doing it for personal gain? Action! every single day that passes it's them going well when are we gonna get out like when is this gonna stop are we gonna just all die at once when you tune in each week you just don't know like who's safe and who's not season two of between premieres june 30th on city and will be available the next day on show me and tune in next week when we'll catch up with the stars and get more insider details on what's really going on in pretty lake